Gastrup and Rasmussen, warm favorites for this match, I think. Yes, definitely the Danes are, are the favorites, but they're struggling. They haven't had uh, too many wins this year, so it, it's their confidence isn't up. Uh, they just won the European games, but other than that, uh, they've struggled with first and second round losses. Well, there's the confirmation of that. Three love head-to-head -head last met the German Open early this year, and it was a straight game victory for the Danes. Red, Red. Black, your choice. The ship. Who is receiving? Okay. That side is okay. So let's give you some more information then about uh, these players. Starting with the Japanese pair, that's Matsui, who's 29 years of age now, as you can see that. Best ranking was back in only December of last year, so not too long ago. Part of the uh, Thomas Cup bronze winning team of last year. And they have won a couple of international tournaments, uh, Matsui and Takuchi there. One in the Maldives, one in Dubai, both in 2019. Takuchi is a, a year older than his partner. Runner up in the uh, Russian Open a few years ago as well. The Super 100 event. Here's how they've got to this stage. Had a real battle with uh, Lee and Yang in the second round. That was a good victory for them coming through in three games in 51 minutes. And on the other side of the net, Kim Astrup there, who's 31 years of age now, left-hander. They were up at number five in the world some while ago. That was November of 2018. And Astrup and Rasmussen, part of a team that won Thomas Cup gold in 2016. That was a memorable moment in Danish badminton. Three titles as a pair, the biggest of which was the China Open a few years ago, that's a Super 1000, and as Charmaine said, they are the newly crowned European Games champions, but otherwise, just two quarter-finals this year. That's how they've made it this far. Facile progress, I think you would say, in both of those matches. This may well be a little tougher, and we'll find out in the next uh, 45 minutes or hour or so. Fabio Beto is in the umpire's chair for this one. Sarah Shahosseini. Ready to play. From Austria is the service judge. Japanese pair to get off to a decent start. If they let Astrup and Rasmussen get away from them early, I think they might be in trouble. Ready? Stand by then for the uh, umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Keiichiro Matsui and Yoshinori Takeuchi, Japan. And on my left, Kim Astrup and Anders Kov Rasmussen, Denmark. Kim Astrup, this is the Yoshinori Takeuchi. Love all. Play. So here we go, this men's doubles quarter final. One, love. So much experience, this Danish pair. Astrup 31, Rasmussen 34. Both look very, very fit, though, I have to say. <laughs> and 
you'll see Astrup come to the net. The, he likes to control the net. Great left-handed. You'll see some set plays as well, but uh, definitely Rasmussen at the net, at the back of the court, uh, attacking more. Make it look so easy. <laughs> but uh, there was a lot of tactical nous that went into that very short rally. Lovely touch in the end to uh, secure the point for the Danish pair. Just off the tape. Yeah. Nothing he could do about that. Nothing whatsoever. Just watch Ras Astrup so much. He comes to the net. He's already moving even before he's hitting the shot. He's he's running running in so quick. That's a clever shot. They're not the only ones that can find angles. It's wide. Actually, lost count of the number of service faults we've had in this tournament it seems to be endemic for some reason yes they're, they're uh, calling quite a few at, at this tournament it seems Shuttles are a little bit quicker here, so you have to control it. If you're not doing the high lift, you're trying to go flat, you have to control it a little bit. Yeah, we said yesterday that the conditions are fast here, and it's uh, providing us with some relatively short rallies, not too many lengthy ones. That's long. Just what Matsui and Takuchi didn't want to happen, just to let the Danes a bit of breathing space early on. Only a few minutes gone in this opening game, but already there's daylight on the scoreboard. Nine. just off the tape and tumbles over, but uh, the Danes have <laughs> fantastic defense. They try to w no. stick in it. Yeah, even then he <laughs> wasn't going to give it up, throwing himself as the shuttle crawled over the top of the tape. <laughs> Japanese fans hoping there can be a bit of a turnaround here. Thank you. 
the experience of the Danes that the two uh, Japanese also been around a long time going to be uh, inhibited having said that uh, four points down at the mid-game interval Too loose coming to the net, no problem there. Yeah, just classic. Astrid, wasn't it really? Just think they have the greater court craft as well as the uh, tactical lead, the two Danes. So, uh, showing on the scoreboard at the moment. Yeah, and again. They have great uh, flat defense, and, and again, you know, always trying to set up your partner and, and look for the open spaces. Yeah, he is uh, becoming a serious thorn in their side, Kim Astrup, at the moment for the two Japanese. back. Oh, what a get. <laughs> it was a great get, wasn't it? Not good enough. A little bit short and it'll be punished. Matsui. Uh, errors in Astra. Nicolci, if you watch his serve though, right before he was about to serve, he moved it just slightly. He will move back and forth and kind of caught him off a little bit. That's the first service fault I've uh, seen today. I've seen a lot of service errors, but remember you have to serve from uh, one meter, 15 centimeters or below. That was over that, according to the service judge. Talk about a hard one point. <laughs> 
put up some stiff resistance, the Japanese pair, but not enough in the end. What a great serve. We can ask Strip again. It's almost, looks like it's almost going to be short, but it's so tight, you can't let it drop. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's the skill, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> yeah. You're almost serving short. Yeah, I'm going to say if you let it go, but it's so difficult to let it go. So they're really starting to assert now, just a couple no. of points away yeah. from uh, taking this opening game. I don't think that'll uh, bother them too much. So, seven game points now for the Danes. Only been playing for some 12 minutes. The scoreboard is a pretty true reflection of what we've seen so far. And that's it, 21 points to 13. Astrup and Rasmussen take the opener and pretty comfortably. So what can Matsui and Takuchi find here in the second game? Try and alter the balance of power because it was firmly in the Danes' favour in the first game and again starting as they need to go on in the second. Gonna drift out, I think. Yep. Yeah, the Japanese really can't find the, the back of the line on, on both sides. I think it, they're coming against the wind right now too, so trying to lift it, maybe go a little bit higher. There it is, to get the depth. Oh. 
Got away with that one. He was there, oh. but too much and into the oh. net. Body language of those two just, just <laughs> sense that they know <laughs> the extent of the task. If they didn't before, they certainly do now. And again, oh. rather oh. as in the opening game, they let they've let um, the two Danes off to a bit of a flyer here. Suddenly, you look at the scoreboard after a minute and a half, and you're five love down. Oh, beautiful shot down the middle on that one, but it's Rasmussen at the back setting that up for his partner. Just starting to look a little like men, like men versus boys, Seven, isn't it, at the moment? You have to have some sympathy for Matsui and Takuchi because at the moment it's hard to see a way that they can get any kind of foothold back into this match. And the Danes aren't letting them, they're not letting the, the long rallies go. They're very good in the first three shots, and it, it's difficult for the J Japanese. They, they want the big rallies to uh, get, get into it, and that's not happening. That'll make me feel a little bit better, at least on the board here. that required a little too loose at the net and takes full advantage Throw in some unforced Dang. errors. Uh, in addition to the excellent play of Astrup and Rasmussen, you get a score line like the one we've got here. <laughs> that was good. Oh, it was actually called out. So the Japanese fair want to have a look. Don't blame them. says long so not much going right at the moment take anything including a net cord at the moment 
Matsui and Takuchi. Nicely placed. Third shot right back into the corner. Trying to work their way into the game now. He's just so quick, isn't he? Astrid doesn't miss a trick. No. That's a lefty there, too. He plays it right where he, he knows where the next shot's coming, and it's right on his racket. Very smart. Well, I think as much instinct as anything else, but he got his racket into such a position that gave himself a chance. But, uh, big grudge them uh, anything at the moment, Japanese pair. Ladies and gentlemen, The first three shots are so critical, especially in men's doubles. Yeah. One, Even Asper couldn't do much with that, straight at the body. Idea, just uh, that's right. Bad execution, yeah. but right idea. He saw Matsui leaning forward. Japanese are really struggling to find that back line today. Yeah, it's been a tale of worm in pretty much uh, every department for them, hasn't it, so far? And uh, it may not be long to go, put them out their misery. Defiance may not be anywhere near enough, but uh, always good to see that there's no white flag being hoisted. We'll play till till the very end. It's a good serve too. Oh dear, what a pity.
So that sets up the little matter of 10 match Please. points for the Danes. Match point. Ten. 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 21 points to 10 it is in just 26 minutes on court. Hugely impressive from Astrup and Rasmussen. Completely outclassed Matsuri and Takuchi. And the thumbs up says we're in the semi finals. And you fancy they've got a great chance here of adding to the three World Tour titles that they've won as a pair. Going to get harder from here, clearly, but you can only beat the pair that you're up against, and they've done that very convincingly indeed this afternoon. Nothing really went right for Matsui and Takuchi. Margin of victory, 21-13, 21-10, just 27 minutes on court, as I mentioned. And we are back shortly with the uh, number one woman in the world, Akana Yamaguchi, up against the giant killer from Vietnam, Tui Lin Nguyen. Stay with us. Well, a warm welcome back, and we've reached our fourth match on our show court today, which is arguably um, the one that most have been waiting for, We're a chance to see the number one woman in the world, Akana Yamaguchi, up against Tui Lin Win of Vietnam. If you were with us yesterday, you'd have seen the Vietnamese produce a superb performance. Whether she can repeat it remains to be seen. It's the top match in the uh, quarterfinals there in that draw. The winner will play PV Sindhu in tomorrow's semi final. That's the World Tour final trophy, by the way. And here comes the world number one and obviously number one seed here, Kana Yamaguchi. You can wish her a belated happy birthday.